So, this. We're on the jewels. The Hibby R5, not the Pro. Unfortunately, the Hibby R5 is the only one that hasn't gotten a Pro option, and I don't understand it. Again, I'll link to the red rags. So, I just did the R3 Pro. Like, literally, just did the R3 Pro. And I pick up the R5, and I'm like, all right, let's give this its, its, its final review, its proper introduction. And I'm going to compare it a few times to Fio's offering, which is in the similar price range. Although, I have found this is the M9. And I love my M9. I really do really like the M9. It's an Android-based player. And the first thing you're going to want to know is that Fio cannot produce a player with a newer version of Android than 7. For political reasons. Something about monitoring, or if they do it, they have to reach a certain amount of fucking like steps that allows it to be a newer version of Android. Android is not allowed to be installed on a newer, on a player that doesn't conform to certain things. So that puts Fio out of the running when you're comparing against an Android player running 8.1. This is straight up, full tilt, Android. Here's the Play Store. I'm not currently logged into it. I haven't installed any apps. I haven't even changed the wallpaper. Because it's just, it's full Android and it's a slightly smaller unit than my phone. So, I mean, if you want to text or something, or you want to download a different keyboard, you, you got it. Just go download a different keyboard. You want that wallpaper on your device? Go get it. Lo open a web browser and just literally save that to Imager and go get it. I, I want to talk about this for about 10 minutes, but it's not that important to some of you, so I'm going to skip it. But let's just put it this way. If you don't like the Hibby player, you can install FUBAR. You can install USB audio player. You can install the Ankyo software. You can install Spotify. You can install Tidal. When Spotify and Tidal are available on a field player, it's like a big fucking deal because they have to like make special side-loaded apps. This is just a full Android. So here you go. Um, questions you're going to want to answer first. Battery life. Up to 18 hours? Single-ended. I'm assuming that's like moderate usage. Uh, if you're running full, high gain, balanced, 11. And I'm running full 4.4 Pentacon, which is the only difference from the R3 now. I'm going to do a full wrap-up of the R3 Pro, R5, R6 Pro uh, in the R6 review. But for right now, we're going to talk about this. So we should walk around the unit. 3.5 millimeter, USB-C, balance 4.4. I want to point out that this bottom is acrylic. This isn't metal, and it's not... Well, I guess acrylic is plastic, but... For some reason, this is a this is an acrylic bottom plate, so all the lettering is behind it. It's really really nice. The top is also acrylic. Uh, again, I don't know why it's not a remote control, but nothing feels bad when you touch these Hebe players. Hebe, Hebe. The back again, fingerprint magnet comes with a cover already installed. Uh, these glass back, glass front. The screen is uh, you know. I, I talked about, I'm, I'm not going to bring this up a lot, but here's the difference in size. The actual Hibby R3 is about ooh, a millimeter wider and shorter. So this is just, it's still small. I wouldn't consider this a large player. This is still a good size for a DAP, a digital audio player. But now we're talking about full fucking Android. So the only thing I think it's missing is the vibration when you type. I can't stand not having an actual tactile feedback. And none of the devices put it in. I don't know. I guess it's an audio interference thing. If you want to know about the app that plays music, please refer to the Hibby R3 review. Or, or even better, it's on Android. I might even be on the Play Store. Go literally fucking get it and try it out. Or don't. Or just say, you know what, I really like this Android player. And then you put it on this device. So let's look at the device. So all right, acrylic bottom, 3.5, 4.4, USB-C, nothing on top. Um, here's how you load your SD card. And I don't know why it has to be a door unit. Is that an Android thing? Why can't it just be a pop-in, pop-out, pop-in, pop-out? It was on several devices I've used. Even the R3 does it. So you could easily swap a micro SD card if you just want to just, boom, and take it out. Put it in. I don't know why that isn't the default for, like, every device. 
It makes the lines a little bit cleaner, but you have plenty of space up here. You, you, people, you people probably know more than I do about that. Like, why can't that be a thing? So, USB, yeah, SD card slot. I fucked it up twice. I fucked it up in that one. I said USB and it must SD card. SD card slot, you need to use a little pin thingy. In fact, here, here are the accessory kits. It comes with one of those pin thingies somewhere in here. Extra screen protector. Only, only one, though, and it's flimsy plastic. So that's a glass screen protector that's already installed, and that's a plastic one. So it gives you that one. Uh, comes with a case, which I'll put it in in a bit. Also comes with two um, uh, high-res audio, high audio stickers, so in case you want to be the meme. The USB cable, the nice hippie USB cable. If you haven't seen the R3 review, watch that 50-minute monster, or 53-minute monster. No, I didn't check. Because that's going to cover a lot of the same bullshit that we're going through here. What we're concerned with here is the form factor, which is bigger, heavier, definitely heavier than the R3, like twice the weight. But that 210 milliwatts on high gain balanced out. This, a watt. A what? A watt. Yeah, you heard me. A thousand milliwatts balanced. A thousand, you say. I, I say it again. A fucking thousand. We're not even at the R6 Pro. This isn't even a Pro. A watt? Are you kidding me? Let me go back to the actual website. Because Hibby.com has it right now for sale for $300. Amazon, I'm going to link to both if, if this sale is still going on. Amazon has it for $400, which makes a lot more sense. This is $200. This should be double that. The fact that it's only 100 bucks more is like, well, unless you want it really light, this. Where does it even... It said the, the power in some... There's something really wrong with the way this is laid out, by the way. There's the, the bottom of this is broken. Yeah. 1,040 milliwatts output at 16 ohm. And half a watt at 32. A miraculous pocket rocket. They probably shouldn't write that. They don't know what a pocket rocket is, do they? Oh, heavy. Never change. So here we go. It's the same. I'm not going to describe the player because you could literally change it if you want. Let's go into the Android aspect of it. After we finish, volume buttons, round, individualized, top and bottom. I don't hate this. I actually like it better than the rocker. I like a big, thick button from a big, thick fingers. You get it. Um, my only problem is when you do volume control, it has to take over the screen with that, which is like the full, the full drag bar, you know, up to 100 or down to zero. And it goes away quickly. I'll give it the, well, it will go away if I don't touch it. If I just do that, it goes away. I do that. It goes away. But if you're using the player, if you're actually like, oh, yeah, let's plug something back in. I hope it's not exploding levels. If you're using the player and you're just like, I want to go down a little bit, it covers your entire thing. It just, I don't think you could disable that. I've, I've looked. Very briefly. Um, if you can do it, then you can do it. It is loud. Okay, I love that. Uh, it's a good, good show. Terrible ending. Or terrible entire last third. Difference from the Hibby R3. This is a much nicer room, like layout. They, they stripped it down for using that, but this with the circular uh, play... And then you could actually squish get lyrics and then info. You could see where it's located. You could set it to shuffle or... Actually, the shuffle logo is different than every other shuffle logo in the world. Why is it a loopy loop? Infinite shuffle, I guess. And then you could you skip through the track like this. And you have to play pause. And it, it covers the background with like, ah, it does nice things. This is pretty. This is very pretty. This is a pretty interface. Again, we're not talking about the app. You could go download the fucking app if you wanted to. We're here to talk about not getting copyright infringement and the actual Android player itself. So volume buttons here and there. I, I like it. I wish one was a little bit more textured than the other because it's a long enough unit that you don't quite know which one your finger's on in your pocket. You're going to gift that, aren't you? You sick bastards. Um, and I would like if like maybe one was popped out, one was detent. 
like uh, concave, convex, just so I could sort of feel the difference. Because I feel identical. You just have to know relative to where your hand is, what's up and down. Whereas a rocker, push up or push down. Here, you don't know. You're so far away from that button, you're not going to be able to tell. I'm okay with it. I like the buttons better than the rockers anyway. This side, power button, which ironically sticks out further than every other button on this unit. It sticks out a lot. It sticks out to the point where I'm worried I'm going to hit it constantly in my pocket. Now you could remedy that. I think the buttons are out because they're assuming you're going to use this protective case. But I'm one of those people that, look, I'm an audio reviewer. I get to pull these units out, play with them each for probably about 20 hours total, and then put them in the yard sale and sell them or sh shove them on a shelf and never use them again. If you're buying one of these and you're going to abuse it, and not by abuse it, I mean use it two hours a day, three times a week for the rest of its life, put it in the case. But me personally, other than the finger fucking fuck prints, fuck. Um, I love the feel of the actual metal of this is beautiful. But if you put it in this case, which is a very thick case, the buttons will, the raised buttons will definitely stick out and be easier to press. So that's probably why the buttons are sticking out. I just think they should have taken that into account that someone like me might be actually just, just want to touch it. I want to touch it. Um, your next track, last track, play pause are also raised. The play button is slightly bigger. That's the only indication. You get three at least. So you're always going to be touching two of them with your finger. And the play button is slightly larger and I can actually make it out. It's probably the smallest amount possible where I would able, be able to a, a count for that. Um, Android itself. Very fast. I'm going to probably turn it off and turn it on at the end of this review. But you get, you get a hippy logo, you know, the actual pop down thing that's in the menu. All I have up here are my Wi-Fi, which it is connected to. So I can go download Spotify or Tidal or Kubaz or any weird ass fucking streaming site. Um, Bluetooth is off. It's basic Bluetooth. I think you can Bluetooth in and out. Although I don't know. Actually, you know what? I might be lying. I don't know if you can Bluetooth in. Because usually a portable player, you can Bluetooth from your phone into it. But since this is full Android, can you do that? Can a full Android device use another full Android device as its sound device? I don't know. Um, and then you got another button that's custom just for this player called audio settings. And these are all the audio settings that would usually be found buried in an app. Like on the R3, it's in an app. But here, this is the audio settings. And what's interesting about this is this is the audio settings for the whole device. Not the Hibby app, like the Hibby. It, low pass and aliasing filter settings. So you have your choice here of these four. So that would apply to YouTube videos now. Apply to voice messages on Telegram. Actually, no voice message. You can't, there's no microphone. It's one of the things I don't like about when they do Android devices like this. If you're gonna give me an Android device, give me the microphone. You don't have to give me a speaker, obviously, but give me gyroscopes and give me the tactile so I could type with it. That's, that's all I ask, and they never do that. But um, uh, common output, phone out or line out, which I guess that's the three and a half. And then balanced output is balanced phone out or balanced line out. I don't think I've ever seen a balanced line out. So you'd have to buy a 4.4 Pentacon adapter to go to XLR, and then you could use this as a balanced line outing DAC player to power an amp balance I'm just it's an option gain low or high I have it on low gain I I don't I'm gonna put the t60s on it and we'll see if we need high gain in a bit plugins download add and delete plugins tap the icon to add a plugin tap tap the icon on the top right to add a plugin ooh online plugins let's go to this ooh convolu convolution Sound filed and balance 2.1. I mean, balance. I'm going to download 2.1 balance. Downloaded. All right, cool. Where is it? Go back out and go back in. I did this. I did it. balance. There we go. Yeah. Does that mean I can now adjust the balance? Channel balance was already there. I don't know what that meant. 
I don't know what anything is. All right, I'm a terrible reviewer. Uh, low gain plugins, which apparently are plugins. I'm gonna skip the MSEB for a second. We're gonna talk about DSD gain compensation. Again, DSD, do you care? Uh, channel balance and max volume, which is nice that you could set your max volume. If you know specifically what headphone you are using, there you go, took a second. If you know specifically what headphone you're using, and you know for a fact it's efficient, and you know for a fact you're gonna leave it on low gain, and you know for a fact 81 on it feels like you're going to die, you might wanna set this to 80. It's a beautiful thing, it's a beautiful world. <clears throat> MSEB, we ta I talk at length about MSEB and how insane it is. And not just insane, like, oh man, this Ferrari with a thousand horsepower and twin turbo is insane and I want it. More like this Volkswagen from the 90s has a thousand horsepower and bald tires. That's insane. Um, so if you want to know about MSEB, please go check out the Hibby R3 review. Go about 40 minutes in and it's about 10 minutes long. But basically, what I'm going to tell you people that are watching this video is that that insane... Uh, overall temperature, bass extension, bass texture, note thickness, voice, female overtones, which, by the way, intoxicating, sibilance, sibilance, impulse response, and air are now available for Android. These are built into the Android section of this player. So you could fuck up the sound for every app. Isn't that wonderful? I think it's wonderful. I'd love to listen to Spotify with the, so much air just turned all the way up to air. Again, I'm done with that now. So these are your audio settings, and it's it's a decent amount of audio settings, but those are the only ones available to the unit, which once you get to that DSP, you don't need to worry about it. We should probably talk about how it sounds now, because that's it. I, re I reviewed Android. Having 8.1 means it is Android. It's anything you want it to be. It's just lacking in, like it doesn't have a camera, or a flashlight, or I don't know if it has a gyroscope or not, because that one has a pedometer. Which means it does, because it could detect when you're walking. And this one, I don't know what app I would even get with it to try that. Actually, I'm sure there's a test app on Play Store that just tests what's available on your Android device. Um, one second. Let's put it in its case for, for a bit. I don't like it in its case. It's protected. It definitely feels like I'm not worried about damaging it now. It's just that I lose the happiness. that I. It, it's like holding a diamond ring and like feeling it, or like putting it in an acrylic block, and you're like, oh, yeah, there's your diamond ring. All right, put these on for another second. Because um, I praised the, well, I didn't praise the R3. I said it absolutely accomplishes its goals of playing music, and it's more than powerful enough to run most headphones. But there's a difference between more than powerful enough to run most headphones and, oh, Wait, wait for it. Where's my volume setting? Oh, one. I'm on low gain, a hundred on low gain, and I am a party animal with these balance. So let's take off my lovely, wonderful, can't describe how good those ARs are. Never thought I'd be able to say that. And we'll put this on. And I think we're on low gain still. So we're probably, knowing that 100 makes those very loud, let's see what it'd do to some T50s. Hit the volume. Or not. Okay. Actually, you know what? That's fucking loud. That is fucking loud. You know what? Come to think of it, was there a gain setting? Yeah, gain low. So now the gain's on high, it definitely went up a little bit, so now... I can still... I'm... I've breached 100, which means I'm running a full watt out of this player, balanced into these. And they didn't explode, because they can take it, let me tell you. I know one, a thing or two about being able to take a lot of power, and that, that took a lot of power. But that means that you can now officially run these high gain, which... There's a difference between just low gain and high gain being volume. It's not a volume limiter. Otherwise, it would just be a volume limiter. Oh, it goes to 70, or you unlock it, and it goes from 70 to 100. 
Real quick lesson about how gain works. Gain is current also. So when you run on low gain, you're saving battery power. It's using less current, which makes less volume. When you put in high gain, it's using more current, which doesn't automatically make it louder because you could have the same volume on a headphone on low you're here and on high you're here and they sound exactly the same but they're being driven differently when you switch it to the high gain mode there is more oomph behind it it's volts and amps voltage is constant amperage can be a lot higher it's like charging your phone on a weak ass charger or charging your phone on a fucking strong charger it's still five volts most of them so you're just gonna put that extra, like double the amperage going into it, and you're gonna get more. And I can tell you automatically from the R3, you get more. You get a whole lot more of, of what I would consider actual usable power. And it makes these headphones, particularly these headphones, sound better. They sound better than they did on that. They sound better than they did on most things. It's almost, it's, it's similar to I don't think we're quite at that, like, M15, Fio M15 high gain, what was it called, over your headphone mode, which is the stupidest thing to say, where that was an extreme current jump. But yes, if you have hard to drive headphones, you may want to just leave this on high gain and never take it off and take the 11 hours instead of 18. Keeping in mind, no one is using T50RPs portable, except for me, because I'm an asshole. Gotta love the Predator soundtrack. Did anyone else, anyone else have the Predator soundtrack? You ever just been like walking around the park at night and then like your Predator soundtrack randomly comes on and you're like, oh, fuck this. I love that. Um, the only thing I will say negative about having being an Android player is some functions are minutely delayed. Like the play pause right here. Ready, play. And then it's playing. It's just, it's, it, 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 it pauses pretty fast, but it's like this, mm, that's why non-Android players are still pretty much my preferred method for music on the go, because it's just simpler. Even if they have similar, like this I think was, how many, 20 hours? 18 hours if you run balanced, or 16 hours run balanced? This is four times the power, and it's bigger and heavier. And it's it's worth it for the sound, but it's just like the little niggling things. It's like, eh, next track takes an extra three quarters of a second. Now, what can fix that is higher processing power, which is when we get to the R6 Pro. But we're also doubling the cost. It's like It's like double the cost or double the cost. So we're going to get to that review tomorrow or the day after that. I'm going to probably break these up a little bit. Everyone gets sick if I do three products in a row. Oh, let's look, let's, what's tomorrow? Oh, God. So, we'll move on that. But, um, I cannot even a little bit say that the sound quality in this isn't spectacular. Where's my, this is uh, Hands Around My Throat from Death in Vegas. And I've had this song forever, and I don't know where it came from. Oh, I'm sorry. I know exactly where it came from. The Animatrix soundtrack. Remember the Animatrix? Is anyone here old enough to remember the Animatrix? That's fucking weird to say, because I remember seeing the Matrix in theaters. But, I mean, then the Animatrix came out, and everyone was like, oh, my God, it was like anime and the Matrix is together in one thing. My throat. Gives me the duration, the sample rate, the bit rate. Year 2003. Oh, God. I remember when it was like a thing that's, I'm old, we're all old, we're all gonna die. Oh God, just stop doing reviews, take off my camera, run out into the street, strip off all my clothes. We're all gonna die, and it's not even COVID-19's fault, it's just age, we're all gonna die of old age. Um, this player sounds amazing, and it it handily beats what I, what I pull out as the FIO equivalent of the M9. I could turn on the M9. In fact, let's turn it on. I haven't... Oh, okay. The blue light's there. Did I accidentally turn it on? Welcome. Oh, good. I accidentally turned it on, 
And we're gonna see exactly how long this takes to turn on. I should be racing them. I'm, I'm gonna, you know what? I'm gonna shut this off. We'll give, we'll give it the. You're getting like a. You could just someone do it. When you hit the power button, by the way, it says restart or power off. I'm gonna power it off fully. Shut down. It's off now. I'm so sorry, people. With, with, with if you're as OCD about clean screens as I am, I, I this is the worst channel on the internet. Starting now, I haven't started this in a while, but it shouldn't matter. It's not like it's updating. Actually, it has got the Wi-Fi on. Now we're here. Let me... Turning this on, clicking, holding, hibby. I should have raced them against each other, but we'll just look at this while, while that does its thing. Oh, God, this Android feels so old. And, of course, it's only got feel music. because And the screen is so much smaller. God, I, I really... I like this player. But it only has a 2.5 millimeter balance. It doesn't even have a 4.4. This has got... 4.4 is my bay. The screen... Oh, this is up already. We're already up and loaded. We're going to go heavy music again. Look at the screen size difference. Can I get this on that's an actual, like... Like, if I put top screen... To, you're, like, almost a half inch higher and wider. And it's just... This feels like it's aging poorly. In fact, I'm pretty sure this will end up in a yard sale and this one won't. Or that will end up in a yard... I don't know. I've, I've had this around forever... And I love it. I like the little, the volume wheel. It just feels, I can, I'm feeling that old Android on it. I'm feeling that old Android on it. 77% battery, you wanna shut it off? Yeah. This is, if you wanna go Android and you got the budget for it. Oh, I wanna point out by the way that the Hibby definitely weighs 20% more. There is just girth to this. Probably battery girth. All the girls talk about my battery girth. Hands around my throat. It remembered exactly... I restarted the whole player. It remembered exactly where I was in the song. And that's, again, available on the app, from the App Store. Tron Legacy. Again, no VUs. I really just... I'm... I'm, I'm a sucker for VUs. I'm a sucker for visually, visualizing things. I, I, I love this player to the point where I'm going to sell other things. Because it's... We're going to get to the R6 Pro, and I'm going to talk about its quirks and features, so to speak. And it's got one quirk that it's like, makes it hard to live with. And it's, it, we'll get to it. We'll get to it. I don't want to ruin this one, but. Oh, always back to Gignotti. Yeah, this, this fucking sounds amazing. That's, that sounds amazing. I, I, I want. I want nothing more out of my player than it to sound that good. Have USB-C, have 4.4 Pentacon, have full fuck you Android. You can go to Pornhub on that. You can literally go to Pornhub on this player, out of the box, adjust your headphone settings or your crazy DSP correction, and um, watch your favorite porn. I'm sure you have a favorite one. Don't deny it, you have a favorite one. And it'll you, you could do it with this sort of amazing output. That adds like a new flavor to things. It's like a portable player is a portable player, but when you can actually do Android-y things. God, I love this music and this player. Oh, shit. Maybe I will put the R3 in my portable mini rigs case. Because this would be more for headphones. This is the one that you want to power, to power things. That's great. That's small, it's convenient. It sounds good. This sounds better. Like this legitimately just sounds better. And I've not run them back to back to back except for today and I'm about to run the R6. So when I shut this camera off, if the battery doesn't explode, I'm gonna run the R6, do the R6 review. I'll change the wallpaper again and we'll find out. Because going from that to this, it's like a huge change. And that still isn't bad. That's the thing, it's not bad. I didn't notice it was bad. I was like, eh, yeah. It's all right. It's all right. It sounds good. Yeah, it sounds good. And this is like, oh, oh, that's why I bought these headphones. We're at that level now. So next video that you'll see will be the Hibby R6 Pro. And I will bring the other two back into the fold. And we'll discuss all the difference between them and what I like and what I don't like. And you'll get another wallpaper. By the way, that wallpaper in the description of this video, every wallpaper, subscribe star Patreon down there. You can go get them and then search out the original artists. 
and then congratulate them on making amazing wallpapers for Z reviews. I'm sure none of them even know. Um, Patreon subscribe store again. Five dollar tiers. See these reviews early. I'm finally building back up a buffer. Thank you, COVID-19. I can't leave my house. I got so much work to do. I'm so happy. I'm glad I work from home, actually. But I mean, I like people. Um, find out to your CD's views early. Ask me any questions you want on platform. So message me on Patreon, message me on Subscribestar. Uh, it usually take about a week to get back to people. I don't check every day because it's usually like 30, 40 in a week and I will just answer them in one go. I have one day a week that I do that. If you need to ask me a question and you want to respond to today, $10 tier. Put you in the private behind the scenes Telegram chat, which you can install Telegram or Plus Messenger on this, and you could have your Telegram chat on your device. It's playing your amazing headphones. It'd be amazing. It'd be amazing. It'd be annoying to type, like such a small screen, but it'd still be amazing. Um, they're also talking about the yard sales. Yard sales in the $5 tier. The M9 might end up in it. I've been keeping the M9 around because there was nothing in that form factor that ran Android that I liked more. And this is the one I like more. So it's that's that's when things end up in the yard sale. The R3 might end up in the yard sale just because I might put the, uh, the little uh, M6 in with my uh, portable Bluetooth speakers. I don't know. I, I want to listen to this. Here's the thing. I want to end this review real quick because I'm going to finish this song on these headphones balanced out from this player because it's worth it. Uh, there are higher tiers. There's $5 is yard sales, ask me questions and see reviews early. $10 is behind the scenes Telegram chat. The higher tiers will be used in the future for basically earning a spot in line to get a box of stuff from me to use for a week or 10 days, haven't decided yet. But I have stuff in closets that is doing nothing. It's not earning me a penny. So higher tiers, you'll be able to get into a list Probably a short list, maybe five, six people. And for one week, you get to borrow a bunch of my equipment. Portable players, amps, headphones, mostly headphones, IMs. A thousand dollar IMs sitting on the table behind me. I'm not doing anything with them. You want to try them out? You want to see what you like? Because if you can't get to an audio store, join that tier, send you things that's not ready yet. Don't join it until it's ready. I don't want people complaining that I refund my money because I didn't have an idea. You Now you have an idea. Um, and yeah. Don't forget to check out Hi-Fi Guides. Here, let me bring this up real quick. HiFiGuides.com is this site, which, fuck, the F12-300 doesn't have a thumbnail. It's This is a project that DMS, DMS and I worked on, and it, it's a buying guide. We make we can profit from the link clicking, for most things, unless it's from specifically from a site, but we don't care. We're listing the things we love. Rhythmic, for example, is just you buy it from Rhythmic. But we've got subwoofers, speakers, in-ears, and you could answer questions. You got to limit your price range if you want. I want a mid-forward in-ear. Apparently, there's only four of them. Nice. And then let's make the cheaper, cheaper, even cheaper. Now there's only two of them. Headphones was the original the thing for hi-fi guides. So there's like hundreds. Well, there's probably like a hundred headphones on here, and all the thumbnails work, thankfully. I haven't gone to this site in a long time. But then you can adjust your price range. You want to spend at least $500, but no more than $700. And yes, you have an amp. And it doesn't matter if it's open or closed back. And it doesn't matter if... You, actually, you want neutral. You have three results. And then you have ones that are outside your price range. So DT1990, Ananda for 850 or the Elex. It's quality, po quality choices. Also, don't forget to check out Hi-Fi Guides. Look at this form. Look how modern it is. It's so modern. And I like the colors. And there's music talk. And this is another, this is attached to the hi fi guys. And the bass gods approve. Uh, best mashups in history. Favorite album art. I haven't actually spent enough time on the form. And I'm sad because I have things to do. And I'd love to participate in some of these. So maybe I will. Anyone know that guitar song's name at 22 minutes of the last Zeos review? I need this in my life. Can I help this man? Oh, it's the Esprit review. He asked me this on the YouTube video, and I literally couldn't find it. Sounds somewhat like an Asian-style re reminiscent of anime soundtracks. So I'm searching for Still Nothing Thanks. Why not message him on here? Actually, he might have messaged him. I'm going to have to go figure out what song that is. This guy doesn't have to beg. Anyway, Wallpapers. Hi-Fi Guides, Hi-Fi Guide Forums, this player, 
these headphones which you can't buy so don't even look at those i you know you want to but i'm gonna put them back on for this track i will see you all tomorrow thank you for stopping by um it's time to whip out the r3 the r6 we did the r3 whipped out whipped out whipped out whipped out tomorrow